AR or AK. That is the most common asked question I have received on YouTube as well as in my personal life. Alright. I have buddies coming up to me. Hey man, I know you're into these AKs. What's so good about them? I know you had an AR. What was good about your AR? People come to me almost on a daily basis and ask me which one is better, which one I prefer. Well, obviously, if you guys have been watching my channel, you know. <clears throat> you know. This is what I run. Now, um... Uh, you know, people come to me, well, what's so good about them? What's so good about an AK? What's so bad about an AR? Well, I want to tell you. I don't want to get this in a heated debate. I don't want to, uh, you know, start arguments, uh, no nasty messages or any of that. I just want this to be clean. This is my opinion, uh, my personal opinion. This has absolutely nothing to do with anybody else and what the, whatever they run. Uh, I am an AK guy. I love AKs. Yes, they are a calm block weapon. Uh, <coughs> yummy. <coughs> oh, wow. Hot dogs and sun kiss, man. But, uh, why I run an AK? Uh, I had an AR. You guys can go see the reviews on it. It jammed on me. Ten, ten times or so, five, ten times, I don't know, hardly shot it, I uh, had all kinds of problems with it, and of course it, it wasn't really what I wanted, AKs though, uh, they're coming out of the, the box ready to go, you know what you're going to get, uh, you know, I don't want any real bells and whistles on an AK, uh, when I get my AMD 65 here in two weeks to four weeks, depending on how money goes, um, when I get this AMD 65, I'm going to tack it out. That'll be my tactical AK um, with uh, with quad rail and pistol grip, and I'll probably throw a laser light and flashlight on there with a red dot, and it's going to be bam, awesome. But, uh, you know, people ask me, you know, do what's so bad about an AR? Are you can reach out there and touch somebody. You know, yeah, you can shoot some, uh, you can defend yourself, shoot somebody with an AK. But, uh, you can sit there and defend yourself with an AR off the back of somebody else's porch. You know, just reaching out there and touching somebody. And that's true, I guess, but... You hear reports of guys over in Iraq having to shoot a guy, I don't know, three, four times for him to go down. You know, there's not a whole lot of energy going into that. Some people say, well, you know, the bullet, you know, once it hits, it starts tumbling, it tears stuff up. Yeah, it does, I guess. But with a heavy bullet of the 762 by 39 a 30 caliber round is just devastating, guys. You can rip people's arms off with one or two hits at that. Okay. That is a nasty, nasty round. Also, accuracy. Now, yeah, you can reach out there 500 yards, 600 yards with an AR. 300 meters maximum for the AK. And this is where I think the AK is more superior, believe it or not. I bet you never heard of that before. AK superior on accuracy? But think about it. The AR style platform was designed to reach out there and touch somebody. That was the rifle was designed about. And then they have to train the soldiers to use the rifle to shoot that far. Okay? What Mikhail Kalishnikov did, so he took an AK such as this 
similar to this. He designed it for the soldier. He designed it with the soldier in mind. The average soldier cannot shoot more than 300 meters at a moving target iron sights. Okay. Now, he could have made this better if he was issuing every single AK with a scope of some kind, but that's not practical. Because then when you're up close fighting, that ain't going to work. It's all about iron sights. Now, he thought about the soldier when creating such a weapon. Okay? That's why I think the AK is more superior in accuracy. Because it has the average ordinary person in mind. This gun is handed out to militiamen, uh, untrained soldiers, uh, you know, guys that aren't going to go and sit in a, a six, eight week course on how to proficiently uh, use this weapon. You know, they're going to be like, okay, you push this button back here, you take everything out, you scrub it with oil, you throw it back together, same as you took it apart, uh, pull this hammer back, let it go, pull the trigger, it goes bang. All right, now go fight for your country or for Allah or whatever that is the, pretty much the, the training some of these guys actually end up getting so uh, you know these these weren't designed to be a complex weapon also things are reliable okay, these things are they're heavy duty guns they're reliable guns you cannot get these things to stop shooting now there are things you can do, but it's not as easy. I mean, these things are built like a tank. And, uh, uh, these, these things are built like a tank. So, uh, I'm, I'm spaced now, guys. Hmm. Uh, another good thing is these things are heavy. If you run out of ammo, you can use these things as a, a defensive weapon. Pick it up, use it as a weapon. You know, if you have to, you can beat the crap out of somebody with this thing. Alright? Heavy guns. Um, my buddy's like, well, I can put all kinds of bells and whistles on uh, an AR. You, know, you can do the same with an AK. I'll show you guys that later on um, when I get the AMD going. That's my next little project. Uh... So, you know, the AK has been has stood up to the test of time. Uh, it's been proven, uh, and it's still used today in multiple countries, including big name countries like Russia. Well, the AK-74, but same concept. China, North Korea, and Iran. Iran is a big one right now. Okay. If we were to get invaded, you will be seeing the business end of these weapons. So I kind of like to be on even playing fields if that was the case. Of course, don't quote me saying I think there's going to be a, uh, an invasion of some sort because I'm stocking up guns. Guys, I collect. I'm not into prepping. I'm not. I'm into collecting. This is pretty cool. Cool history. Romanian, Polish, getting a Hungarian. You know, it, it's a good. It's a cool history, guys. Uh, pretty cool. But uh, besides that, uh, why I run an AK? They're cheap, guys. This is a $520 gun. This is a $450 gun. The AMD 65 is actually 420, but after I pay all the uh, FFL fees and all the other crap, I'm looking at about 480 bucks. So I mean, cheap guns as opposed to thousand dollar ARs, um, some ridiculous prices ARs. Thousand dollars like the lower end ARs. This is the lower end that's 450 bucks. This one's on the same playing field as the uh, the Yugoslavian. Uh, 
white shirt run probably about four or five or five six seven hundred dollars this one was about five so interesting stuff guys like I said earlier I still have people coming up to me talking to me about AKs and why I think that they're so great uh, that's just a little bit uh, I can share with you right now it looks like my camera is about to die so I'll try to wrap this up um, did a little bit of work on the uh, the Romanian guy AK-74 style muzzle brake this helps out a lot I did have it on the Polish but I, I like it better on the Romanian and I took the the Polish pistol grip off wrapped it with electrical tape for a nice good grip that's a twenty dollar hoe grip or three dollars in electrical tape so I went with that and this pistol grip is really not that bad either and it just it looks good on this AK but uh, with that pretty much being said um, that's the, the main concept on me running uh, an AK uh, now to be fair I have gave it several thoughts on actually purchasing uh, an AR build kit and uh, building an AR I've thought it over uh, I want to look at the you know what all I'll need I kinda wanna build an AK but I'm gonna need a press uh, possibly a welder uh, you know to, to do see those dimples those are actually welds uh, well that's not that's a safety but uh, those four dots right there that's where you weld the rail on the inside and uh, I don't have any of those it's like a tack welder so I don't have the, the, the heavy duty uh, you know stuff to, to make these I mean if I had a fully uh, functional receiver put together with the, the trunnion and everything put in where all I gotta do is press this barrel in uh, drive some pins in um, and then put the trigger group in you know I could do it but uh, it's just this receiver screwing me over uh, along with uh, the gas block and the, the front sight but uh, AR, I don't think an AR is that bad. It's just pretty much driving some pins and uh, screwing stuff into place, like the barrel screwed in and whatnot. Uh, but if I actually had the, the resources, I'd, I'd definitely build me an AK, uh, without a doubt. But, uh, but besides that, uh, that's usually what I run. That's why I run AKs so if anybody's got a question you can comment or uh, PM me whatever I'll, uh, I'll answer to the best of my ability and uh, what, keep an eye out for shooting videos with the Polish and the RPK uh, and the AMD 65 when I get it I think I'm just going to take all three of them out and shoot them all at once so I can get my videos in I know you guys are probably dying to see this thing throw some fire out the barrel along with the RPK and I know the AMD does AMD has a hell of a muzzle flash I've seen videos on YouTube so kinda excited but uh, with that I thank you